<clears throat> Welcome everyone to a scratch video. It's not going to be a tutorial today. Today I'm going to be showing you four scratch hacks that I use on a daily basis. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with three coding hacks and then we're going to go into our other scratch hack. With this scratch hack, we can literally become Griff Patch. Have you ever wondered why if you try to always change your size by 10, it doesn't get any bigger than that? And the reasons for that is, you might be surprised, Scratch limits the size of your sprites. How sad. One way to get around this is so. Let's go into our costumes. And we're going to be making a new costume. Uh, oops. Let's paint a new costume. And let's call this blank. Now, let's click on the paint tool, or the brush tool, and let's set the size to 1. Now, let's zoom in really far. Let me zoom in right into the center as much oh we can keep on going and we're just going to draw one tiny little dot in the center of the screen okay let's go back to our code now let's drag out switch costume to blank now let's drag out switch costume to costume one so that's going to be our scratch cat right here now let's drag out change size by 10 and put it in between these now if we put this in a forever loop and let's also make sure we set the size back to 100. If we click on this code, our scratch cat is bigger, bigger, bigger. Now he's filling the whole screen and zooming in, in onto his beautiful yeah. mouth. So right here is our coding hack that will make sure that we don't limit the size of our scratch cat. All right, moving on to the next one. This is going to be another size hack, but it's going to be a pretty cool one. All right, so follow along with me really closely. We're going to be dragging out change size by 10. Let's go to operators and drag out a divided by block. And now let's drag out a minus block and put it inside of the first divided by. Let's go to looks and drag out our size block all the way at the bottom. And we're going to be putting 500 minus size divided by 5. And then let's go to control and drag out a forever loop. And then let's set size to 100. So when we click on this, you'll see that we have a nice little block that gives us smooth size control. So let's say I wanted to set this to 100. You'll see our scratch cat smoothly goes down to 100 size. Let's try 50, 150. So right here, this handy little block will save you a lot of time in trying to have something smooth in your game. So you can use this for buttons, you can use this for enemies, you can use it for anything. And if you combine it with our size hack, you'll be able to go off the screen. So, boom, we can zoom in on Scratch's lips. Are you tired of dragging out if then, if right arrow pressed? Are you tired of duplicating this, changing it to left arrow, duplicating it again, and changing it to up arrow and down arrow? And then you have to go to motion and drag out change x by 10, change x by minus 10, change y by 10 and then change y by minus 10. Are you tired of this? Well say no more. Right here is our hack that'll make sure you can condense all of that movement code into one line. Let's go to motion and drag out change x by 10. I'm putting this inside of a forever loop. Let's go to operators and drag out a multiply block and then a minus block or a subtraction block. Now let's go to control or sensing and drag out key space pressed. Let's change it to key right arrow. Now let's drag out key left arrow. So key right arrow minus key left arrow. That doesn't make any sense. And then let's multiply this by five. Running this block, you'll see I can control my cat with the arrow keys in one line of code too. Now what if we wanted to move up and down? Well, we can do the same thing. Let's change Y by, and I'm going to duplicate this block key up arrow minus key down arrow. Now watch this. I'm moving down, up, left, right, all over the place. I'm a scratch cat. So I just condensed four lines of code into two. That simple. In this hack, I'm going to show you how to become Griff Patch. Let's right click on our username and go to inspect. Now you'll see here this hacking code right here. Let's change it to Griff Patch. I am now Griff Patch. Now, what if I wanted to have a million messages? Well, the first step you're going to need is a single message. 
And then from there, we can get started. <gasps> a message! Let's right click on it and go to inspect. And then you see this one here? That's our message count. Let's type in something crazy. I have that much messages. Cool, right? So you should probably change it to something realistic, like a random number. And then we will probably also need to change our name back to Griff Patch, just to make sure that it is a little bit more convincing. And then probably change the image to Griff Patch's real profile. But that's how you hack Scratch. So thanks everyone for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and smash the like button for more videos like these.